Hello everyone. Our theme for the hour unit is La Familia. It is directed to sixth graders in a Spanish one class and our lessons are 40 minutes. We have included um, different activities. Um, we had music, some are verbal, some are visual, individual activities, group activities, some that involves a movement from the students in order to accomplish all the, to tackle all the multiple intelligences. In the first lesson, students are introduced to the family vocabulary and the vocabulary of party and celebrations in the context of the royal family from Spain. And I will show them the family tree of the royal family in Spain. We will talk about monarchies, you know, in culture, and then we're going to be asking questions in the target language um, and doing different activities related to, you know, to the royal family and using this vocabulary. For example, one of the activities would be is true, true or false sentences where we say Leonor is the daughter of Carlos IV, and then the students have to reply if this is a true statement or a false statement based on the family tree. Um, the objective is to introduce the vocabulary, to make them feel familiar, to use it in a context, and also to introduce some culture. On lesson two, we will focus on the students learning how to express relationships in Spanish. So we will need to introduce the verb tener, which it has been probably introduced in the past, but now we use it with relationships in the family and also stressing the difference between tener and tener que. Uh, in order to practice this activity, um, they will do, you know, a worksheet, a reading, they will discuss their family members, and they will do a game. One of the games that they will do is the human bingo where they have to walk around the class, finding out who has different family members. Um, and then they have to follow up by writing, you know, for example, Juan has five brothers. Um, so this is normally a very active activity where students get to walk around in the classroom. Hello, my name is Lucia and I will continue uh, presenting the rest of the lessons for our thematic unit. So lesson three, we continue reviewing vocabulary and, the, and then we are presenting a new concept, which is possessive adjectives. So the teacher will present this by showing the PowerPoint presentations with plenty of visuals and many, many examples. And also we use examples in the classroom as well, like saying things like, this is my pencil, this is your pencil, this is his pencil. The second activity, they will be using their homework for this one, and they were asking questions to each other using possessive adjectives. So in the first one, they see it, they practice, they listen to it. In the second one, they are putting it into practice by writing it and also saying the possessive adjectives. In the last activity, uh, it will be a game uh, where the students have to make sentences and using possessive adjectives depending on the subject pronoun that they're using. So in lesson four, we add in the culture perspective to Spanish celebration by talking about la quinceañera. So first, we're going to see a video. Um, we're going to ask the students to take notes as they're watching the videos and things that they found interesting in the video. And then in activity two and three, they will be working in groups and trying to compare and contrast in this celebration to a celebration that is similar here in the United States, like, for example, Sweet 16. For homework as an extension activity, also for homework will be to create uh, an invitation to a, a quinceañera. Uh, as an extension activity, students will be doing more reading about this particular celebration in Spanish-speaking countries. So for lesson five, the verb said and last person's vocabulary will be introduced. And in this lesson, students will be learning to identify themselves and others. So um, at this point, they will be able to describe their family members. For that, using adjectives and the verb said. 
So first, the teacher will show a PowerPoint explaining the verb sir and then use the different things that, and words and adjectives and nouns that they can use to describe themselves. There's also a really good catchy song, which is the sad song, that they can listen to that song to uh, help them remember how to conjugate the specific verb. And then lastly, students will be doing a reading and writing activity. Students will read the correct conjugation for each form of the verb to be, and they will write it in their notebooks. So for lesson six, we we'll continue talking about the culture. So we're talking about Frida Kahlo and um, students will be learning a little bit about uh, Frida Kahlo's life and looking at different paintings and trying to describe the paintings using the verset that they previously uh, learned in the previous lesson. And they were also trying to make some connections and describe which ones are their favorite paintings from artists from the United States and maybe comparing and contrasting from the paintings, Frida's paintings too. Um, lastly, we will be doing a craft activity and we'll be make, uh, making papel picado, which is a very traditional um, craft from Mexico. So for lesson seven will be the review day. For review, um, students will be doing stations and it's usually around four different stations that they rotate. Um, usually they spend about six to seven minutes in each station and in each station they practice a different concept. So for example, in one, um, they can practice the verb said, and another one possessive adjectives, and another one the verb tener, and another one descriptions. Um, they're doing all different activities and they're reviewing all the concepts that they saw throughout the unit. So the last lesson, lesson A, is the assessment of the family and celebration unit. In this um, assessment, students are going to demonstrate uh, the mastery on the unit by using their reading, listening, or writing skills. So the, the assessment will have uh, different sections in uh, like listening activity, and it will have a reading, everything within a context using all the vocabulary that I have learned. Um, also, a, a writing activity or in the form of an essay, for example, and where they have to describe their family or they have to use all the vocabulary and the verb conjugations and everything that they have learned. So I hope you enjoy your unit and um, you got some great ideas that hopefully you can use in the future in your classes. Thank you.